Hey guys, welcome back to the Bros Films channel, and today we're running with the B26 Marauder. And this is in honor of Marauder, because his name is Marauder, and the, the bomber's name is Marauder too. And also in honor of Red Leader. So anyways, let's get through with this. So the B26 Marauder is actually probably the best bomber in the game. I think it's even better, in my opinion, it's... I think it's better than the HE-111, to be honest, just because this thing just carries a lot more bombs. Even though it doesn't get two torpedoes, it has so many guns on here, and it has, like, 360-degree view unless they're underneath you, so it's pretty insane. And if they ever had the B-17, yeah, I mean, it's going to have a 360-degree view everywhere. So I'm actually pretty excited uh, to run with this, because I haven't run with it in a while, and I actually end up getting a lot of kills. So anyways, it's going to hop into a realistic mode here, and I'm going to pretend like I'm actually flying a real bomber, kind of, and some weird stuff happens, but it's all good. So let's hop into this. So while I taxi out, I'm just going to tell you guys this. Um, if you guys didn't know already, I am working on a card game, a trading card game. If you guys are interested in it, this is just totally optional. Like, I don't expect you to go there or anything. But just in case, it, I, uh, just in case you like card games or want a card game or something like that, uh, top of the description, there's a link there where you can help fund it if, if you uh, feel like doing that. This is kind of hard for me to tell you guys because I don't like doing this kind of stuff. But if you guys are interested in it, check it out. Or just go there if you want and look what it is all about and stuff. Uh, and if you guys like it and stuff, you can go ahead and share it with your friends if you're interested in that. But anyways, so let's just get straight into the review. So, the B-26, you know, I'm just taxiing off here, and there's already flak everywhere, so I'm having second thoughts about actually taking off, but, I mean, it's the B-26 guy, you can take off anyway, because there's gunners on it everywhere, so I feel pretty safe. I'm a little bit worried about getting strafed, because uh, people tend to strafe bombers because they shoot back, but, uh, you know, like, it's alright, we're taking off. So I go ahead and take off here, and I'm going pretty slow, and I'm worried about getting hit, and I'm trying to look behind me, I'm like, oh yeah, I can't see behind me. So I'm just hoping my gunners just keep me safe a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull like a, like a 180 gear and turn around. And then the enemy fighter will disengage from me. I can't really hear what's going on, but I'm pretty sure there's an enemy fighter near me or somewhere near me at least. And it was on me for a second maybe, I don't know. But it went on the kind of escort person. Uh, so I was, I was uh, okay there. I didn't get shot up luckily. But my superior... Uh, gunner skills are just way too good anyways. Okay, forget that. Never mind. Let's just, let's just go bomb some stuff and then shoot down some ground targets. But if you look behind me, there's a the P-35 there. What a nice P-35. And he's like, let me go help to take out that guy behind you. And he's pulling some really uh, epic maneuver. And these guns, now that I think that look pretty cool. So I see the plane there, but he's just too far away for me to snipe out. So I'm going to have to hope my teammate's able to take him out. It doesn't look like do too good of a job, but luckily the P-35 is going to help him out, and maybe that'll do something. So anyways, let's go bomb some stuff now, like right now. So while I position myself to bomb the carriers, let me tell you a little bit about this plane and what I'm going to do here with it. So anyways, right now I'm looking at the map to find the carriers, so I can pinpoint their location and just kind of align myself. And I'm trying to climb a little bit because I see some enemies and I don't want to, I don't want them to dive down on me. Cause it's a lot harder to hit them when they do that. So you kind of want to be above them, force them to pull up a little bit. And hopefully, you don't want them to get to your bottom, but you kind of want to go head on head. Because, I mean, you do have 450 cows. So, you know, it, you can't really go too wrong with there. Uh, so I'm not too sure if they're enemy or not, but I'm more than certain they're enemy because, you know, they're way over there. But they might not be, but, you know, you never know, guys. So anyways, let's go ahead and look for the carriers. And I kind of see the carriers, you can see them. They're at my uh, 11 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, left here so I can line myself up straight on, straight on, if that makes any sense, so I can kind of blow the thing up. And what's good about the B-26 is that it has 12 500-pound bombs, guys. At 6,000 pounds of bombs, like, you could, it'll take out, like, the whole fleet there if you use your bombs wisely, but I didn't use them wisely. I, you know, I kind of miss a lot. So I'm kind of just spamming the button here, because I want to guarantee the kill. If I don't guarantee the kill, then I don't want to turn around for it. But it, just so you guys know, it only takes two very well-placed 500-pound bombs to take out a carrier, and just two 500-pound bombs to take out a destroyer. They don't have to be well-placed for the destroyer. But it normally would take three to take out the carrier if they're not well-placed. 
three out of four. Uh, here I just drop like half my payload because you, you can't be too safe, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and blow that thing up. And unfortunately, I missed it on camera. I was trying to figure out how to look at it, and then it just goes blammo and it's gone. Like it's already gone. Like it's on fire and stuff. It's missing all the carrier. Like I all the carrier. It's missing all the plating. I kind of blew the thing pieces. So that worked out pretty well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and get the other one. And I'm kind of surprised these two aren't going on. I'm starting to think they're in a dogfight or they're just didn't see me or something. I don't know. Now here I'm just gonna drop the rest of them. Um, drop the rest of them. I'm gonna go ahead and drop three on this one. And I think that gives me the kill. I'm not too sure. And then I'm gonna go ahead and target the destroyer, which I don't know if I get the kill for that. And it looked like I got hit, but I don't think I did. I don't. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I got hit, but the rounds bounced. Who knows? It just started shaking. And then I go ahead and get a few kills there. And I'm gonna get like a whole bunch of ground kills. I think I got 19 total, if I remember correctly. And I didn't sink that carrier, which kind of surprised me. I dropped three on it. It already looked wounded. So I was kind of a little bit shocked there. It might be sinking, I don't know, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so anyways, now I'm gonna be engaged by enemy fighters, but they're not really gonna stick with me for too long. I don't know why they didn't stick on me, but it definitely would have been a little bit more interesting if they did. So I'm just gonna, you know, just try to land a few sniper rounds, but, you know, you don't, you don't really land those, especially when you're a back gunner. So anyways, let's uh, move on to the epic landing. It's just insane how good this landing was. I almost landed at the wrong airport because uh, traffic control, air traffic control, did a really bad job on telling me which one. I'm joking, that was all my fault. I just assumed that was for some reason where I wanted to land at, at Ford Island. When in reality, I'd probably just fly off the deck or something. But anyways, I did a really good job landing. I was super happy with it. I was kind of worried because the Japanese plane was catching up and I didn't really want to get killed. Even though I, I would have stayed and uh, gunned them down, but, you know, this is realistic mode. You gotta play it realistically. So, I, you don't have to, but I am. And then I'm gonna go ahead and land here. And just watch this landing, guys. Like, I don't... It's just so perfect. It's, like, so flawless. I can watch this a million times. Watch. Wow. Can you believe it? Like, that was just a great landing. And then the taxiing is even better. No, nothing can beat that landing, guys. I should have made it more cinematic, but I, was, I didn't want to ruin it by doing that. So just look how great that landing was. Everyone's here at the Pearl Harbor just enjoying themselves. I'm going to go ahead and pull a really sharp turn there and just continue taxiing out. I'm going to let myself repair real quick, and then I'll move on to... I probably could have went over there and done it and repaired there before takeoff, but I didn't think about that. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and taxi off here. If you set your throttle to 50, it'll allow you enough to move really sharply. And then you can lower it down once they gain some speed or something. Good activity, but it's a little risky there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just taxi out. And I'm gonna let this part play just because who doesn't want to watch a taxi? That's not, that didn't make any sense. Who doesn't want to watch me taxi out? Like, it's so. I don't know. For me, it's just satisfying. But if you look at the B26, I'll just talk about the B26 real quick then. You'll see that it has those white and black marks. I'm more than certain. Okay, maybe not that certain. But let me guys know, does that have something to do with uh, Operation Overlord? Because I think at the operation, like anyone who participated, like the aircraft that participated in D-Day got the white and black stripes and you got so many for whatever you did. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. But anyways, there's some weird glitch there and I blew up when that thing spawned in. Just had to spawn in and ruined the perfect taxi. But anyways, let's just go ahead and respawn and do some more stuff. So the game ended with a victory for us, and I got 19 ground kills. And because of that one unexpected death, I didn't get the double XP. But I have all the skins right now, so I'm not in dire need of XP. But when future skins are released, it's you know it's always good to have some XP on you. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into some arcade here, so I can get some good gunning action. Whoa. This was pretty awesome, because I spawned right in the action. I was so happy for that. So anyways, there's an A6M3 on me. And, you know, I don't want to get totally destroyed by an A6M3, so, like, I'm really trying to get him right now. And he's missing, luckily, most of his shots, at least. But then I get kind of shot up at the end while he's dying. And then all of a sudden, there's another one to my right, but I'm not able to quite get an angle on him to where I could easily hit him. So, I, you know, I kind of want to just pull, like, in front of him. And then, like, he just flies, like, close to my side. It's kind of weird. Like, almost, like, a long-distance formation. Because he wasn't... 
Like, I was hoping he'd go in front of me so I could pitch behind him, but look, he's just staying there. And he stays there. Like, he doesn't increase speed or anything, he just stays there. So I was gonna try to turn uh, behind him and just get him with the front guns, but I wasn't too sure if that would work out too well, so I started to do it right here. But, you know, he's kind of getting away from me, and then I start to, sh uh, to try shooting, but I noticed my... I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm going to try to take him out anyways. I'm going 100% throttle. And he takes out the other uh, friendly. And he's too far away to really snipe out easily. And then he's going to start doing some maneuvers I can't keep up with. So I'm going to have to end up watching my uh, my allied bomber just go down and eat the flames. And then all of a sudden he starts running away. I wish he stayed for the fight. But the gunners, they're not ejecting guys. They're just, they died, I think. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't eject. But they, they weren't going down without a fight. You can respect them for that. In honor of Asker. Yeah, that's a weird name. But anyways, yeah. He's going down, and luckily the tail covered up the explosion because it was probably very horrific. Yeah, I don't know. Is he going down, or is he, did he stop going down? Or? Did he survive? <laughs> I don't know. My gunners are like, they're trained. They're mad. They're trained on that enemy at the distance. This is a weird video, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, now let's just go ahead and bomb some stuff. Now, if you want to see how I bomb stuff in arcade mode, it's very unorthodox to the point where you need to drop all your bombs because they're like at such a bad angle, they don't even penetrate. They just blow up on the surface. So there's two planes going on me now, and I, got, I have to make a decision. Am I going to bomb or am I going to try to fight back? I'm going to do both. Forget the rules. Let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and dive down. And by the way, I can't wait uh, till they add like co-op, like where I can have real players manning the guns, like how much easier and more fun that'd be, and then this should make it so if you get shot, like you die, like if your pilot gets shot, and that just add a little bit more realism to it, and also it would make it so that your gunners, like, they could get killed, you know, make it a little easier to kill bombers, but bombers are already pretty easy to kill, they just need to slow them down, maybe, yeah, so anyways, I dropped my bombs there, and as you can see, they didn't penetrate, so I didn't get the kill. That's why I usually drop like six bombs, because, you know, sometimes if you drop a bomb, you won't get killed. But I think bombers, they're good at flat. They can do it pretty flat, fine. So I noticed this guy's behind me, he's trying to take me out, I think he's in our hurricane or something. He has, he's using 830 modes, not 30, oh my gosh, that's just deadly. He's using 830 cows, and, you know, those don't do a lot of damage, but I kind of want him to get close to me so I can take him out. And, like, in a situation like this, a real bomber would be like, let's drop the bombs and get out of here. But me, no, let's slow down and take them out. So I'm going to go ahead and just do just that, and I'm going to try taking them out with my back guns. And hopefully, man, this video's getting pretty long. But anyways, let's just go ahead and take them out. So I start lining up the shots, and as you can see, you just got to follow the white marker to get the hits in. And I did that pretty well, I think. I'm not, like, the best at it. I've seen someone do it, like, really good before. But, you know, then he starts hiding there, and then diving, and I'm thinking he might go down, but I think he's actually just trying to get away from me or something. And I think this was the part where, oh no, it wasn't that other part of the guy, this was the guy. He was like, no, he didn't go in front of me, he didn't, he was just staying behind me, so I wanted to turn it into him, but he's, he's like, not letting me, I don't know if he's trying to get on me or get away, I don't know what he was doing there, maybe trying to gain some speed while like at a weird angle so he wouldn't get hit so anyways i'm gonna attempt to go head on head with him here and i think i'm gonna miss most of these oh, oh no i got him oh yeah he's on fire dang what a good shot that was pretty good i think that's a thumbnail right there too anyways there's an a6m3 on me now and this part is just where it just all goes haywire guys everything goes bad here everyone gets shot everyone dies it's very sad i just spoil it but anyways, yeah, there's too many of them. I'm trying to land my shots, but he's landing his shots. And it's not looking pretty well. He hasn't landed a single shot yet, actually. But as you can see, like, the double, like, when you have your back up, he's in the worst spot to be. Oh, he gets killed. I don't even know what happened this game. <laughs> so, yeah, he gets killed, but then next time, he doesn't get killed. It's probably someone else, too. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn in. I'm going to look for more action. And I'm going to do a cutscene, because I haven't done it. Okay, this is where everything goes bad. I have to make a decision. Fight off the enemy, or bomb the carrier. And guys, this is, you know, I, I just really wanted to get this kill for some reason. I probably could have done more evasive maneuvers, but why do more evasive maneuvers? So then I tried quickly hopping on the back gun, and it just 
it went all bad, guys. It was really bad. Maybe that's the thumbnail. I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. And if you're stuck to the end, I don't know how you did this video is like 15 minutes long. But anyways, if you guys are interested in that card game, please check it out and share it with your friends. Uh, link top of the description. Also, we got 1,500 XP that round, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So anyways, that's my B26 review for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is G-Knight from the Bros Films channel. Signing out. Let me know if you like raw footage or not.